Have you ever watched the Revenge of the Sith trailer? Well, I'm only going to include footage from that trailer in this video, and one thing you might notice is that it gives away the plot for pretty much the entire movie. We have Palpatine seducing Anakin, Anakin openly clashing with the Jedi Council, big moments like Windu confronting Palpatine and Palpatine pulling out his lightsaber, and even the Jedi Purge Order 66 and Anakin versus Obi-Wan. You pretty much know exactly what's going to happen when you watch this movie, but that didn't matter. I was 13 in 2005. I remember the lead up to Revenge of the Sith very well. Everybody knew what was going to happen in the movie. The Jedi somehow were going to go away. Anakin would turn into Darth Vader. Palpatine into the Emperor. Padme, well, we don't see her in the original trilogy. She's probably a goner. It's funny because if you read the YouTube comments, people are like, this is such a bad trailer. It spoils the movie. Revenge of the Sith isn't about the plot. They released the novelization and a video game which had the entire plot before the movie came out. It's a journey. George George Lucas said something very interesting, that Revenge of the Sith is not like old Star Wars. It's like Titanic in space. It's a tearjerker. And like Titanic, you go into the movie having a pretty good idea what's going to happen. I've seen Revenge of the Sith described as basically a ballet in space, and that's true. It's all about how it makes you feel, how the movie revels in not only the spectacle, I think I'll always remember that scene over course on seeing that in theater with the war drums, but also how it delivers the themes. You can't spoil how it feels to see Anakin take that first breath as Darth Vader, or to see Obi-Wan lamenting the loss of his friend. There's no way to spoil how it feels to see the twin sunsets at the end and feel like the whole saga has come together. That's just my feeling though, let me know yours down below. Also, George Lucas had a damn live stream of him making the movie for God's sakes. Anyway, I do also remember everyone thought the Utapauan guy would be evil. He obviously wasn't.